Hello everyone, Adventure4904 here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'd like to share with you on how I configure my Stream Deck for MSFS 2020 and streaming on Twitch at the same time. A disclaimer though, this is not an Elgato sponsored video. I'm doing this to share my tips and tricks with the community. As you may know, Microsoft Flight Simulator has tons of keyboard bindings and it's impossible to remember all of them let alone using them, especially when you are flying an aircraft such as the DC-6. A device such as Stream Deck really helps. Okay, so let's go. This is a Stream Deck interface where you can assign the buttons to various functions. Let me show you how I have configured mine. So on the lower left of the screen, you can see my actual Stream Deck. You can see that I'm actually pointing to some of the buttons. And this is the interface over here. I've got a 15 button uh, Stream Deck. In Stream Deck, you can actually assign folders to the button. So if I click on the Twitch button over here, it takes me to another folder. Let me go back here and show you what I've assigned these buttons to. For the first button, I've assigned to streaming on Twitch. Whatever I'm doing on Twitch, I'll put it on this button. I'll come back to this in a bit. The second button I've assigned for something for me to do for my own business, to do my own Facebook Live and videos. The third button here is actually Transponder. It's a software for uh, Skypark. So if you know the add-on called Skypark, I use that a lot for my flights. That button here is actually uh, to enable Transponder and then to bring up the app itself, the Skypark app. Uh, the fifth button on the right is my IR tracker. So I use IR tracker when I fly. It's a hardware which allows you to move your head and look around in the cockpit. So if I click on this, you can see that I have assigned these buttons to the app itself. So this will enable the app. This is actually to pause the IR tracker. If I'm looking around and I'm not really looking straight, so I just pause the eye tracker and then I can center it. And this one makes it go into position mode. So the eye tracker becomes much smoother. If we go back, you can see that this button here is assigned to Flight Simulator itself. So if I click on this, MSFS will run. Got this one is called Bridge. I own the uh, Bravo Throttle. I will need to run this app to enable the throttle binding with the simulator. So I have to run that first. This is for OBS. I'm running OBS and I'm recording at the same time. So this is a button to run OBS. And this one is Little Nav Map. So if I will click on this, Little Nav Map will pop up. I use Little Nav Map a lot for my flights to do my flight plans and whatnot. I will leave the link in the description below so you can have a look at what you can do with Little Nav Map. This is Little Nav Map. Very useful tool, allows you to create your flight plans and whatnot. And I've got a button assigned for a folder that takes me to other websites. So I've got Bush Talk Radio, which I also use for my flights, which give you a, like a narration of the areas of the points of interest. I've assigned one button to go to my YouTube channel when I do my video edits. I've got my Discord here. I have a lot of stuff in the Discord. You might want to visit my Discord, Adventure 4904. Sometimes I use Skyvector to look around in the map. So I have a Sky Vector button here, Google Earth. I have a Twitch dashboard, which I sometimes click to. I use Zoom and this is probably takes me to my website. I use Adobe stuff to do my videos and all that stuff. I've got one assigned to capture the screen. It's a snapshot. This one is a software called Epic Pen, which I can draw on my screen. It's a very interesting tool. It's a free tool anyway. So if I run that, you can see that I can use my uh, pen here to draw on the screen. And then I can clear that up. I can just exit that now. I've got my Stream Deck button over here to run my Stream Deck. And I've got a software that's actually a freeware. It allows you to do recording of your flights if you wish. I'll leave the link in the description. Let me go back to Twitch and I want to show you what I do uh, when I'm actually streaming. Uh, the first button here is signing my profile. Make sure that I'm on my Twitch profile or for flying. And I also have a button which allows me to do streaming. I'll click on this button and start streaming and also start recording here. I've assigned this button to allow me to record using the NVIDIA app. And I can also enable my FPS here. You can see that I have a uh, FPS counter just in case I want to look at how many FPS I have running on the sim at the moment. So I'm going to disable that. And I've got uh, my scenes here for my OBS. Uh, I've got my starting soon. In game when I'm doing my in game at the moment is in in game and then if I'm going away I'll click on BRB and it will just go into a BRB mode. This button here I've assigned to some other 
functions first and foremost i've got my function to enable the atc disable atc and these are the button numbered to answer to the atc's responses yeah so i've assigned eight buttons to those let's go back i've got the checklist i can enable my checklist on and off i've got a button assigned to increase and decrease my sim rate in case you are in a rush to finish off the flight you can actually increase the sim rate and then go back to decrease it yeah if i've assigned some buttons there as well these are my buttons i have signed the views in an aircraft what i have on my screen here is a dc6 i've assigned some buttons to my dc6 if i click on dc6 I, you can see that i have uh, the pilot view here okay these are all the buttons that's available on a keyboard but i made it easy for you to use it just using by clicking on this button over here pilot view that's the overhead of the captain and then we've got the brow view we got the overhead there you go right the overhead and then the co-pilot overhead yeah we got co-pilot overhead i've got the autopilot view i've got the throttle view right just in case you want to adjust the throttles i've got the engine view i've got this one is the mix mixtures yeah down here and flaps i've got the ipad view over here you can bring the ipad up and have a look at it and i've got i have not assigned the other button yet to the circuit breaker which is behind the cockpit over that side probably need to assign a button because that's one of the pre-flight checks that we have to do to check make sure the cbs are all in and i've assigned another button here for efe uh, what i'm trying to say here is if i go to pilot view i want to have a view which allows me to actually look at the whole cockpit i want to do something like um you know while well, the efe is sitting here on the seat and he is looking at two pilots here right so i want to have that that scene as well so i'll assign that as well the others i've assigned to other aircraft such as the cessna the piper these are my favorite aircraft i fly i've got another button here which is assigned to audio i can run uh, like i use epidemic music for my background music and also for my video editing so i use uh, epidemic which is this one here i've got twitch sound actually i, do, I don't use anymore because twitch doesn't allow you to broadcast music anymore so i've given that up i've got nahimic controllers or for me to adjust my sound system i've got my system of volume up and down uh, voice mod is a free software or an add-on for you to change your voice this is pure entertainment stuff i also have another one called sfx which i play sound effects you can see some of them are star wars based though just for, for, for the fun of it when you are actually bored uh, <laughs> while you're flying and like, having some nice conversation with your friends on twitch so you can at least play that with, uh, with some of your friends so that's about it that's how i configure my stream deck incidentally i've also made a video on another device which is not a device but it's more like a software which uh, mimics what a stream deck can do it's called touch portal i will leave the link in the in the description below so you can have a look at how i set up the touch portal for you to be able to use for your flight sim or even for your streaming okay so that's it for today if you are interested to know more about how i set this up and you have any questions please leave the questions in the, in the comments area i will uh, try my best to answer it uh, all the add-ons and all the software that i've mentioned in my video here i will leave the link in the description i hope this gives you an idea of the fun stuff that you can do with stream deck for me it keeps me engaged with my audience when i'm doing streaming and by you know doing this keyboard binding stuff and it, allows me to have less it's less pressure for me to do when i'm flying and also chatting with my followers i hope this has helped you in a way so if you like the video please uh, click on the thumbs up icon and if you like the content that I'm, I'm putting out in my channel please subscribe the channel so i hope to see you soon and happy flying bye bye